Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the latest version of Shortcuts Enhancer. So I think I made a video on this before. Basically what this is, when you press the home button on your PS Vita, as you guys know, it basically comes up like this, and it's got advertisements down at the bottom here, or stuff you can open. Well, it, well you can actually change it to your own custom apps um, using the Shortcuts Enhancer. I'm pretty sure there was an older version, I made a video on it before, but there's actually a brand new version, and it lets you customize it to loads of different stuff. So if you guys want to get this go ahead and open up Vita Shell. We will have to connect our PS Vita to our computer if we want to install this. So go ahead, press select, go and connect it and I will show you guys what to do next. There will be a link in the description of this video so you guys can check out the shortcuts enhancer and um, here is a screenshot of what it looks like so as it said um, you get those small things that like pop up at the bottom these like kind of like um, tabs you can click on you can pretty much change these to whatever you want and you can actually get them looking really cool so if you guys want to get this scroll up to the top just click on releases right here and from here we can find a vpk file so just click on the shortcuts enhancer.vpk and it will begin downloading. Very small file, only six megabytes. So just wait for that to finish. Go to your downloads and find it in there. Let's just drag and drop this on the root of our PS Vita. And that is literally it. So let's go onto our PS Vita. Let's install it and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, so once we're back, let's go onto our UXO and let's find the shortcut enabler app. So here it is, shortcut enhancer. Let's just press X on this, X again and then it makes one more time and it'll just start installing. Now once it's done, let's just close out of each shell and let's just go and look for the app on our home screen. So here it is, Shortcuts Enhancer. Let's just open this up quickly. As you can see, um, it actually looks pretty cool. You can add loads of different apps, um, like um, pretty much all of them really. Adrenaline, um, pretty much any app you have installed obviously some look better than others so basically what you can do you can actually tap the shortcut you want to edit so obviously we've got the first one middle one and last one let's start with the first one we can choose whatever we want you can also press select and it actually has the options on here so what you do is you press square to change it and then x to set it so let's just find the first one let's set the first one as adrenaline now you can press square to change through the themes of them and decide which one you want uh, we can pretty much choose anything. Let's put auto plugin as the first one, press X. And then it's just going to save it like that. And it's going to say OK. We can tap OK. And now we can choose the second one. Let's put, what should we put on this one? SNES emulator. Let's do that. So let's just press X. And it's going to save it as that. Again, it's just going to save it quick. And, um, and then what can we do on the last one? Let's just have a look. Doom Vita, sure let's just put it as that, so we're going to press X on this one as well. Obviously you can put it to whatever whatever you want, and you can press square to um, change the theme to whatever you want. So once we've got it, all you have to do is actually just press start, and it will say restart now, press X for accept, and then it's just going to restart your PlayStation Vita, and when it restarts, we can see if it worked. So once we're back, just make sure your custom firmware is on, and let's just hold or just press the PlayStation button, and here you go, we've got Auto Plugin, we've got the SNES Emulator, and we've got Doom. Now basically what happens, as long as you just tap it, it's actually just going to start it up just like that, and um, we can do it again, so we can press the Home button, uh, get rid of that, let's try again, let's try Doom. There you go, that starts up perfectly fine. And then of course, we've also got auto plugin and that will start up as well. So yeah, this is actually really cool. I really like this feature. It looks really nice. It puts them into like a category and everything like that. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.